In this video, I'll be going over the future of AI ML positions and what students are being told. My name is Dev and I help students and engineers land their dream job in AI engineering. I've also gotten into Amazon, Google, and multiple top AI startups. But before I can explain the future of AI ML jobs and why so many students are wasting their life without even realizing it, I need to tell you a quick story. One of the students in my program came to me earlier this year and his situation really saddened me. He had been applying to positions for months, but he wasn't able to get any interviews and when he did occasionally get an interview he would fail and they just have to go back to applying to jobs but that wasn't even the sad part the sad part was that he was a very very hard worker he did well in school and he had built a couple of projects he was putting in the effort but here's the truth hard work is it enough you need to apply your effort in the right places and 99 percent of students don't even know what those right places are and the thing is it was not my students fault. He was simply misled by outdated garbage advice from the school system, which is led by professors that don't know anything about industry trends. You see, my student was following the rules. He was doing well in his classes, going to tutorials and courses, focusing on the theory. But he wasn't able to get any interviews because the projects on his resume were too damn theoretical. And again, whenever he did get an interview, he would fail it because he didn't have any real world projects. And it just makes me sad to see this. Because it's not his fault, it's really not. It's the fault of the traditional school system which prevents hardworking people like you and me from landing our dream job. Most professors, I'll say most, not all, don't know what it takes to land a high paying role in industry, which is what we want. And the traditional education system is so damn slow to adapt. We pay tens of thousands of dollars for a degree, but they don't teach us what we need to fucking know. So we end up having to self-study, maybe with YouTube or online courses, but then what the fuck was the point of university? It makes no sense. Now, in another video, I'll break down the exact details of my student's journey because it's something every beginner has got to hear. But the short version is this. Once he shifted to industry relevant projects that actually matched the roles he was applying for, he quickly landed multiple job offers. I'll admit it, he hasn't gotten into fame yet, but he did land solid internships and jobs that have put him on the right track. But here's the thing, my student's story isn't even the main part of today's video. Today Today's video is about the future of AI ML jobs and the trap that most students are walking into. Five to ten years ago, engineers were training models from scratch. Today, that's dead. Why? Because of foundation models. A foundation model is trained on an unimaginably large data set and to be adapted across hundreds of use cases. ChatGPT is the obvious one. You can name ten use cases right off the top of your head. Hopefully none of them are sus. So the new focus isn't training models, it's building on top of them. But here's the problem. Our bullshit degrees, the ones our parents think are the holy grail, is not preparing us for this. In school, we get force-fed linear regression, logistic regression, neural networks, all of the math behind the models. And yes, it is important for interviews and you've got to have a foundational understanding, but it's irrelevant in the day-to-day -day job of an AI engineer. And that leads us to the crucial distinction most people don't even know exists. AI engineering versus ML engineering. Historically, ML engineers built models for companies. But in 2025, the real hiring focus is AI engineering. AI engineers are closer to software engineers, building real products products and systems on top of foundation models. The problem is that professors won't tell you that. Most students don't even know the difference. And here's where things get even more surprising. Because when you look at what companies are actually testing for in interviews, it's not what you think. Even when I worked at Amazon, I expected to be building and trading models. After all, that's what school prepared me for. But the reality? Most of my time was spent with pipelines, feeding data into existing models, and system design. This isn't what professors talk about, but it's exactly what interviewers care about. In fact, many of my toughest interviews weren't about theory at all. They were about my portfolio projects. I had this one interview at a top self-driving startup in SF. The fucking recruiter told me to grind leak code, prepare for data structures and algorithms. So I did that for weeks, and then on the interview day, I got asked system design and portfolio projects. That's it. The bullshit that we have to deal with is insane. My friend, if you're struggling to land a job or internship right now, it is not your fault. The system is just rigged against us. 
That's why I'm building this community, a community of builders to fight back against the bullshit. The bullshit of leak code, non-technical recruiters who decide our fate, and the fucking traditional school system. My friend, theory is starting to matter less and less and you've got to focus on projects. Recruiters and hiring managers hardly care about your classes or GPA anymore. They want to see proof of your ability to build and the only way to show that is with a portfolio. Literally everything comes back to building projects and building an amazing portfolio which is exactly what this channel and our entire community is about. Now, at this point, you might be wondering, after you build projects, how the hell do you get noticed and secure the offer? I answer that question for you in this video right here. It's probably the most valuable video on the entire channel. I go over how after years of rejection, I finally got a job with Google and I don't hold anything back in that video. I reveal everything. Click that video next and I'll see you there.